Hello and welcome to another episode of Tips and Ideas with Ed Wallace at Midwest Landscaping. Triple W dot unique involvement envi <laughs> unique environments dot com. Get it right, brother. Get it right. I'm over here in Hacienda Heights, California, doing a drive by of a project that I did like about uh, six months ago. Um, it was a carapia installation. We installed carapia uh, here in the front yard at a distance of about 18 inches off center. Because of budget reasons, we decided to, the client decided they wanted to go ahead and put the carapia in, but space it out. So I'm over to check out to see what the progress is all about and how things are going. And it's kind of interesting because in some areas here, as you can see in this video, that it's grown in quite well. We've had an influx of weeds that came through, like I mentioned to the clients that that would probably happen because of the possibilities of weed seeds blowing in on the property. And uh, also there's areas where it looks like it hasn't had that much water, where I don't know how often they water, uh, but this, this carapia out here looks like it needs water pretty bad. It hasn't had any water in a while. The runners have taken off to where they are stretching out so they can fill in, it has some flowering and stuff going on, but it's really dry. I don't know when the last time they watered, but this, this ground is really, really dry. So they need to get some water on here if they really want this to fill in and complete this mission of filling in this front yard. Um, certain areas are a lot better than others. As you can see along the wall here in the edge, the carapia is doing pretty well. And uh, as you get closer over here, there's all kinds of oxalis weeds that have come up and there's growth of the carapia that's happened here in this shady area. You can see where the carapia is really thick up in here where it's shaded and pretty moist and there's oxalis that has grown in but this uh, I have a theory of overcoming the bad with good and eventually this carapia will overtake this this weeds and stuff that's in here but um, you can see how thick it is this should be like this thick like this throughout the whole lawn but this is from consistent watering to get it established it's nice and established here nice and thick over in here you see you have influx of different types of weeds that have grown up in here there's actually some moss down in there you can see this moss so it's pretty shady up in this area here so there's probably issues with just being too moist and having moss grow up in this area the crop you will overtake it as you can see it's pretty thick up in here in this in this area but there's some patches of of this moss that's come up in between the spaces that probably could have been eliminated if the client had came out here and been conscious of it and, and dug it out. So now the crappie has to overtake it rather than it being taken out physically by hand uh, and avoided. There was an old tree out here and there's remnants of, of root that was down in there in the ground somewhere. They've come up. So they haven't taken care of those. So you have a couple issues with old tree roots that came up. It was a tree that rotted in, a, in the middle of the yard. And so it has some runners that it sent out. And you can see a couple of these, these runners, these roots that have come up in different areas here. Uh, so it's all about the maintenance and aftercare. Look at you have that anthill here. I feel it's being properly watered. You probably wouldn't have this many, had that anthill there because it would be flooded out. So I'm just seeing that a lot of the situations that's happening here on this front yard in this installation is due to the lack of uh, attention from the uh, from the owner of making sure that they stay on top of this as they get the crop established. If we had put this in um, side by side, head to head, so to speak, complete installation this would have been all taken off and looking really good by now but they wanted to do it from the standpoint of saving some cash flow so this is what we have thus far after like six to seven months uh, the sprinkler system should be operating pretty well i'm not going to mess with it and turn it on i'm going to just give them a call and find out how often they've been watering actually i can look on my uh beehive app and I can tell how often it's been watered. That's one of the advantages of having the beehive 
uh, Wi-Fi system, I can go in and find out exactly how often they've been watering, how much water, when's the last time they water, when the next time it's going to water. I have like about 13 clients on a system where I can go in and check to find out what's happening and kind of monitor the watering of the different projects that we do. So I'll ask them what type of watering have they been doing and then I can find out if they're telling me the truth or not because I have the actual data uh, at my disposal by just running up their account and looking at it online or actually looking at it on my phone because I have the app on my phone. Anyway, this is what you get with uh, six months of um, Karapia installation and from what I can tell, not that much attention to um, making sure that things are being watered correctly and certain things like the weeds have been eliminated. This is kind of results you're going to get if you're not up on top of it when you're doing an installation and you're spacing the Karapia out in order to save money on budget in order to make things happen. Drought tolerancy, yes. Aesthetics, no. Um, so the remedy to this is for them to, uh, to get some more water on here. Put some hydrotain down here to help retain the water that they do apply. And um, see if they can get rid of some of these weeds that are, that are happening and still in between the spaces of the Carapia. Ed Wallace, tips and ideas, Midwest Landscaping, www uniqueenvironments.com stay tuned for other videos click that like button subscribe hit that notification bell so when new videos come out you can see what's going on and see some things there that you can be thankful for that i can help you with if it comes to landscaping thanks a lot for watching